All right, now listen, I understand that you sometimes have to really reach deep to bring out star power to film videos, but Tom here, Bickett, of course, the managing, what does he do something when it comes to editorials or something? Editorial editor. Big time stuff, huh? Yes. Okay, belated happy birthday. I tried to circle back four times on Facebook to wish you happy birthday, but it's been just a maddening time for your Pratt Pack. Listen, before we talk about Aretha Franklin and Elvis Presley and a big concert coming to Pittsburgh, Marcia Kiefer, Community section, one of my favorites. That's the reason why the Times, in my opinion, the circulation should continue to grow because nobody plugs into the community better than they do. She has a story coming out about the Beaver Rotary. You know, since they started, they have actually found money to give 300 plus beds to needy children in Beaver County. She's gonna be writing about that next week, but she's gonna be singing shortly when he comes to the PPG Paints Arena. One of my all time favorites, Andre Bocelli. Nelson Choir, you're the entertainment guy. When when did all this? I never even knew she could carry a tune. I knew she could write, but sing? Oh, yeah. She's been with the Madison Choir for years. Sang at Heinz Hall many a time. Bobby <laughs> Hamlet, kind of shows. Yeah. Man. She's not only an award-winning journalist, but a, a very talented singer. All right, you're an award-winning journalist. Let's talk about Aretha Franklin. I've been blogging about it all day, so it's your turn. The Queen of Soul. We have a story online now kind of recalling her, her last Pittsburgh concert, 2015. We didn't know at the time that would be the last. And, uh... It was a show that had several standing ovations from the moment she walked on the stage, and she still had that, that tremendous voice, that not just the power and the control of it, but just the, the feeling. You, you felt every song. You know, it just gets you, it grabs you. It's so soulful, it's so uplifting. The undisputed Queen of Soul. Number one, as far as female, inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. That's correct, the first one. And you look on Twitter now, all the tributes, every, every major star of any magnitude is talking about how much her music meant to them, so it's a really cool thing. And if he ever decides to leave the Times, next stop, Rolling Stone for you, young man. And I do believe they're the Bible of the music industry. And she is now known also as the greatest singer of all time. And that was stated a while back from Rolling Stone. So that's a pretty nice resume. And I know you've noted it's dying on the same day that Elvis Presley died. The king and the queen going on the same day. Yeah, I know. I And I saw Lisa Marie the other day, uh, his lovely daughter, who is now hard to believe, 50 years of age. She looks incredible. She's actually coming out with this gospel album that her and her dad have crossed posthumously involved with. You know, that young lady can sing. I enjoyed when I saw her in concert. She did a show at Station Square back when they had the old amphitheater, and she surprised me how good she was. Yeah. I wish you a lot of luck. Now, Southern Rock, whatever you want to call it, Leonard Skinner coming Skinner. back. Half of Manaka, I think, is going. <laughs> the one show you're allowed to yell Freebird, and it's acceptable. Yeah. Um, it is their last tour. They've flat out said that. And to make it even more interesting, they got Hank Williams Jr. as the opening act. He's not doing the whole tour. Hank Jr. has a big turnout every time he's in Burgettstown. It's been many years, so that's going to be a very good turnout, I think. And 38 Special is the other opening act. So you, you get all your Southern Rock in one fell swoop. All right, listen, before I let you go, um, we're talking about this being the last Bond movie for Daniel Craig. Iris Ebus is going to be the guy, or supposedly they say the English actor, been saying that since 2013. You think there's any legs to that rumor, finally? Yeah, because there's those quotes of Craig saying he just wasn't really into it the last time. He, I mean, he really did some bad PR. He, he just get, didn't seem authentic about being in the role, so uh, I, I think that, that's a good move. It's time. Yeah, Although, but, you want to ask Tom Bicker, is the, best, is the biggest James Bond fan I know, so you want to turn the camera around and get his take, too. So what do you think? Should he be the next Bond? I think it's time. It is time. I think it's been long overdue. So, ladies and gentlemen... That's a wrap. We're going to talk a little sports. Noel House and Vince Townley, their high school football tabs coming out next Thursday. One of the biggest dates on the calendar year for local sports fans. And, of course, from timesonline.com. Get that subscription. It's definitely worth someone saying paper here. Good afternoon from the Beaver County Times in Beaver, Pennsylvania. Scott Davey.